Here, my friends, is the subject of today's tutorial. It is a scroll activated rotating text effect and get this, the HTML consists of only one element. I know, I know, you may be wondering how and this might seem like voodoo, but that's why we're going to break it down. As mentioned, our HTML consists of a single lonely HTML element, a good old H1. But here's the thing, he's not really all that lonely. He has a twin brother named Fred. You see, he needs Fred because we need an exact duplicate so that we can then rotate him. Fred is birthed into existence not by HTML, but rather CSS. But we'll get to Fred in a second, for now we have to style the original H1 element. For the H1, it's important to give it a position of relative because we're going to use the pseudo element of before, which will be a position of absolute. This is a common pattern for this sort of thing. We give the before element a position of absolute, and we use the content property and specify the same exact text. Now at this point it's all jumbled, so we need to add the same padding as well as setting the top and left property to zero. There we go, now we're in sync. We're going to use the clip path property with the ellipse function to make a circle out of the duplicate, and just so we can visualize it, here's Fred in the color yellow. We're going to come back to add two more CSS properties, but for now it's time to JavaScript. First, we need to fetch our headline. Second, we need to listen to a scroll event. Now, because I'm a lazy cheater these days, I asked ChatGPT to generate the code for me with the following prompt. Give me JavaScript code for a scroll event listener that returns the scroll Y position between a value of zero and one. This here is the code it generated. Now feel free to pause to examine it more. And I did make a slight adjustment right here with the math at the end, which affects the degree to which Fred will rotate. Finally, just before that function closes, we add the following line of code. This sets a custom property value and ties it to the scroll value. Now reverting back to the CSS, we declare a transform property with rotate and we pass in the rotation custom property. And would you look at that? Now, if you want it to be smooth, just add a transition property like so. And that's it. We've got ourselves a very snazzy spinning text effect. If you enjoyed this video, check out designcourse.com where you can learn UI, UX, CSS, and more with my custom interactive platform that makes learning fun and easy.